In this video we will make area control separations easier to understand. First, let's learn how aircraft tracks are classified in air traffic control for applying safe longitudinal separation. First let's see, same track, are when aircraft are flying in nearly the same direction. That means their heading differs by less than 45 degrees or more than 135 degrees. Reciprocal tracks, are when aircraft are flying toward each other. Their headings differ by more than 135 but less than 225 degrees. Crossing tracks, any angle that's not same or reciprocal. It simply means the tracks intersect. Same, reciprocal, or crossing. The type of track helps ATC apply the correct time separation, keeping skies safe and orderly. Now let's look into the longitudinal separation, the standard separation. For same level the separation is 15 minutes between aircraft, with nav aids giving frequent position updates, reduce it to 10 minutes. Speed-based separation, 5 minutes if the leading aircraft is 20 knots faster, and just 3 minutes if it's 40 knots faster. During climb or descent, if vertical separation isn't there, then it will be 15 minutes, or 10 with frequent updates and nav aids present. That's it, know your minutes with speeds, fly smart and stay safe. Now let's move on and learn about lateral separation. Lateral separation made simple. With VOR, aircraft must fly on radials at least 15 degrees apart, and one of them should be 15 nautical miles or more from the VOR. With NDB, the separation angle increases 30 degrees apart. With dead reckoning the separation is widest with 45 degrees between tracks. And with area navigation, tracks should be at least 15 degrees apart, and their protected airspace must not overlap. With different navigation aids, different angles, but the goal is the same, keeping aircraft safe. Thanks for watching.